All right, guys, welcome back. So as you know, we've been adding affiliates to the channel. Uh, one of the affiliates that I'm really excited to add is Mira. So if you check the link below, we'll have a description and um, links to Mira. They have periodic sales. I'll be adding those so that you can hopefully get a good deal. I've seen up to 25% off. Uh, but I'm gonna actually have Reconnoiterer talk about these because he's got a lot of personal experience with them uh, in the military and he ran them uh, before I'd even heard of them so he's gonna go ahead and do that so I want you to go check out his channel subscribe he's gonna be adding stuff soon uh, probably starting with shorts and moving on um, but definitely go subscribe check out his channel and uh, check out Mira too and uh, all purchases support the channel and this is solid stuff but I'll let him talk about it so, so here's Rican order all right, man. So we got these sets of mirrors here. Um, this one is mine. This is the six. And this is the eight. And the major difference between these are going to be your communications. This is capable of comms whereas mine is not. This does have a drinking tube like mine that you can see in there. The drinking tube runs out and into these sets of canteens via this little top port right there. So anybody that's worn a mask, usually you're doing something you don't want to be doing like running or even if you're static sitting in there you're usually wearing like some type of mop suit or so you're uncomfortable so you're know, austere environment so you're probably going to be thirsty and you're going to need to drink water it's one of those things that no one really ever thinks of like when you see people running around with their battle belts and all these kids not one dude's got to drop a water on them and they're like oh well that's the first guy to die so i'm just going to take his stuff um so I'll be honest with you, the, this I got to serve a specific purpose. Uh, I don't know if everybody remembers, but like when the trains derailed and the chemicals were flying through the air like confetti and everybody was worried about the whatever this, whatever that, my butthole went like that and you know why I've decided it's time to just get masks and I was like well babe I got masks I got some year sevens that I was issued and those are the bees knees and I went to go put it on and then realized very very quickly that I did not do a good job cleaning out the mask from the last time I was I used, uh, what I was I used to run the CS gas chambers when I was enlisted and uh, I did not do a good job cleaning it out with the Dawn and the soap. Usually you dunk it and everything else, I guess this did not dunk well. So got it on my face, like my face is on fire, brought back some memories. And then, um, yeah, I was inspired to just go ahead and get some new ones. So I got this guy. Uh, this is the six. Um, the seven has the two eye holes. It's what you see like anytime you see some dude run around on TV or anywhere in the movies, he's always got this mask on uh, with the two eye holes. Uh, I don't like the two eye holes. They're, uh, well, let me phrase this. They're fine for what it is. Uh, I wanted something with a more broad view. Um, so these guys right here, I felt like would suit my purpose. Um, most of my rifles run uh, a pretty decent sized riser, except for my beloved AK, which this is going to be fun. I'm going to try to figure that out. Um, so I run risers on mine, so getting a good cheek weld isn't really a thing. Well, let me rephrase that. It's not a necessity or in my hierarchy of needs, it's not like breathing. I, you know, so, um, and even like when we were enlisted, uh, when I was enlisted, the stuff that we had, we used, uh, uh, heck lasers 
on the ends of our rifles, so we weren't really looking down the sight anyway, even though the M4 combat sights has a large and small ring. One's supposed to be for the mask because you can't get that closely good, good cheek weld. But this guy right here, you will be able to do that in a much better fashion. So he's even got it on the right side because I love the dudes who put things on both sides because it looks really cool and then they go to get a cheek weld and they run into can. Huh? Um, they've never done that before. So uh, <laughs> this is smart. He's good. This is a, uh, the training filter. It's just uh, the simulate. Uh, when you breathe through these things, it's, it's like breathing through like 15 pillows. Like the, the airflow is very restrictive. Um, we used to go on, uh, we used to go on runs and we would wear our masks. I mean, we'd like five mile runs, something, some crazy nonsense that I look back and, you know, think about with nightmares, wait, a little thoughts there. But uh, breathing was super difficult. Um, we always wore the training filters, simulate that. Uh, but, these are the new new. This is what all the cool guys have. Um, this is capable of good comms. Um, the rubber on these is fantastic. The clips are fantastic. It has this mesh thing in the back. Like uh, the, the old ones, they didn't have that. They just had like straps and stuff like that that got in the way. This is gonna be very secure. Um, it's gonna go good over a, you know, a K-Pod or or a Mitch or whatever the cool kids are wearing now. What are they called? Uh, oh man, bump helmets, whatever. Oh, um, Team Wendy or yeah, those. You know, yeah. we call them ACHs, man. They they were a failed experiment by the army, as far as I'm concerned. Those things are awful. Um, anyway, so this is the new new. This will help get you a good cheap weld. This will enable you to drink water. This will enable you to have comms. This will solve all of your your needs in a, a battlefield that's tainted with the any type of chemical. Um, I will say, not every chemical is going to get taken care of. This is the filter of filters. This is going to be the NBC seven seven S O F. Now, this will solve 95% of your problems, except for the really, really bad stuff, which is if you're, you know, most of the stuff that they're working on now, it's gonna be a skin agent, which mask isn't gonna do anything. Um, blister agents, mask's not gonna do anything. So, um, this is, once you crack it, I think you've got like eight hours of continuous use or 12 hours of continuous use some somewhere in that ballpark um, I stick to six just to be on the safe side um, when you have these a lot of people just think oh I got a filter it's good to go right no you need a bunch of filters and you need test strips you need uh, you need more like one is gonna be eight hours talking trying to get people out of any type of place they shouldn't be you're gonna need more than one so if you have like a family of say like three wife husband child you're gonna I would say three per one in the mask two in the bags and roll like that this if that's if that's what your concerns are most people get just kind of stuff and stockpile it um, these mirrors have a 20 year shelf life, as long as they're not opened. Once you crack it, it's, it's dead. you might as well just call it your little training thing and, and, and run it from there because you're, you've killed the lifeline, you've killed the, li the life on it. Um, you see it all mine, still in plastic. This guy is re still, yeah, I got, I think I got this when I was still in, so, yeah, um, all these still wrapped up, still ready to go. You know, I got life straws in there, too, yeah, because, anyway, um, different companies do make things that are just as capable as this, uh, but I will say that Mira is the only one that I know for sure works. 
just like the mirror mask, even the sevens with the bug eyes, the you know the tinted lenses and all that stuff. Those work. Now they work on the premise that you know what you're doing. You can't just be some dude and pick up this mask and be like, "I'm oh, put it on, put it on," uh, and and you're gonna expect it to have a good seal, like it's good fit to your face. They come in sizes, dude. Like you need to make sure you you know what you're getting into. My favorite one was. Uh, that Nick Offerman during that last of the show you know, it's Mushroom Zombies and he's got this mask on but also is rocking a beard okay that doesn't work um, <laughs> so uh, you gotta be clean shaven it's gotta have a tight seal that's why the army is always harping on make sure you're clean shaven in the field make sure you're clean shaven in the field make sure you're clean shaven in the field you know, we were downrange. We were expecting, like, mustard gas. There was talks of sarin. There was talks of, like, anthrax. I mean, we, we I mean, it was, it was it was a hellish mop suit escapade. Mop suit is, is it's like wearing a, a Ziploc bag over your entire body that's also filled with charcoal. And, and the funny part about it is we wore it for a long time and we never changed them out. And like the filters, there's a life, there's a life, uh, lifespan. So I don't know. I think it was just kind of like comfort, you know, put it on. No, anyway, uh, other dudes had it a lot worse. Uh, we never really got new ones. And the ones we did get, I think half the dudes literally said training on the side like they were the training suits that they had cracked open a long time ago that had lost their life a long time ago and they're just giving it to make us feel better but uh those are going to be the main differences um the major being this is going to give you comms positive cheek weld for those dudes who are not doing passive aiming techniques with lasers or uh any other cool guy stuff but like I said, if you run uh, optic high enough, like the uh, like the Unity mounts and stuff like that, you're bringing it up, and your you, the cheek weld is irrelevant in 99.9 percent, um, unless you have an AK, and then you, you're just toast. I'm gonna figure it out though, because <laughs> I love my AK, and I'm gonna figure out how not to die by gas in the process of shooting it. Anyway. Um, if you're gonna get water sources, make sure your water sources have the appropriate adapter or else you're gonna be cracking this to drink and then what's the point? Stockpile filters if you can. These dudes are expensive. They're not cheap. You don't pay a little bit of money for good stuff. You pay a fair amount for a quality product. And I know that Mira makes solid stuff. Like I said, there's other companies out there putting out something similar. They say it's rated for the same things. If I'm putting this on, it's because things have gone wrong. And I don't, that's not the time to take chances. Unless you want to buy one from one of those companies and have your buddy go out and then hit you with some gas. <laughs> and then we're going to figure that out soon. Because... I decided to, to get both because I'm, you know, not less is, you know, I why I can have more. So uh, I did pick up a couple from another company that I'm going to talk one of my friends into donning when he shaves his face and I spray him. So let's 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 hope I can talk him into that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So like I said. Uh, there's probably stuff that I didn't cover. Um, I, you know, like I, I ran, I ran the NBC chambers uh, for a little bit, and I was the uh, NBC. I would say officer, but I think that was the technical term. Even though I was, I worked for a living, and I was not an officer. Uh, basic maintenance on this: you get it dirty, you get it filthy. We literally got Dawn and big in a big brute garbage can, and we would dunk them in mass. And it's not going to be a perfect solution, but it will clean it, and it won't mess up 
any of this fancy rubber because what you're paying for is this really thick like rubber here that will that will get a tight seal and you're also paying for the name of Mira which the this is what the army uses I'm not saying that the army by any means that the army is going to issue the best stuff but in this case they got it right kind of like the marines rucksacks is the tactical tailor got that right um anyway uh if you have any other questions um yeah ask in the comments and we will get back to you i will get back to you and if i don't know the answer i'm still in a lot of contact with a lot of people that can't get the right answer not the google answer which can't trust stuff on Reddit. Reddit is, yeah. So, yeah, man. I appreciate y'all watching and see y'all soon.